tonight remembering Ian Ross. Thanks for your company. Good night. The man who delivered Sydney its news for years loses a short battle with cancer. This is Seven News at Six with Mark Ferguson. Good evening. Tonight we begin with some very sad news about the man who brought Sydney the news for half a century. Ian Ross, who sat in this chair for six years, has died at the age of 73. Over the many years he became a true legend of Australian television, so respected and so trusted, with such a genuine warmth that all of us loved. After battling cancer, Roscoe passed away early today in a Gold Coast hospital. Ian Ross, Roscoe to his mates, and that meant everyone. Seven News with Ian Ross. Good evening, police. One of the most popular newsreaders in Australian TV history. A perfect mix of on-road experience and on-camera charisma. Sorry, I wasn't quite ready. Oh, really? <laughs> what, did, we, did we catch him? People trusted him. They trusted him. They felt comfortable with him. They liked him because he was just a good bloke. He started in country radio, 2MW Moolumba, 1957, switched to TV, in 65. From Central Station, Ian Ross, the National Network News. Ian Ross reporting from Central Court. The black and white beginnings of a 50-year career. First, as a general news reporter. The man is still inside this house that you can see down the street here. And after 10 monochrome years, we got to see his true colours. In 1991, Roscoe went off-road into television's most difficult terrain, the studio. And for a decade, he became a constant companion for breakfast. Have you ever ridden a cow? I have, as a matter of fact. A couple of... It's funny, they always... It's got to suck that horse down still until you try to get on. <laughs> Roscoe, for all his poise and professionalism, and he was certainly all of that, uh, underneath that, and not very far underneath, was a propensity to have fun. No one took news more seriously. No, you know, you can't mess around with news. But occasionally he did. Taiwan's Lee Hung Tuan Tuan in Shanghai. I could not get it right. And we loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Our first news coming up at 4.30. Then join me for 7 News tonight at 6. Oh. Tonight at 6. A consummate professional. Nothing could bug him, not even the bugs. Carrying on through this bogong blitz. What you saw on the TV was the man, was the man behind the scenes. So warm, so friendly, so kind and, and so generous of spirit. It was a career that spanned 13 Prime Ministers and two retirements. The first from Channel 9, after 38 years with the network. Good health, my friend. Thank you very much. I love you all. I'm going to miss you very, very much. The hard man of news had a soft centre, after all. <laughs> it was then Seven Swooped, 2003, luring him to the flagship 6pm news. Good evening, I'm Ian Ross, and welcome to Seven News. You know what has to be done, of course, but how to achieve it is much, much harder. He did achieve it. The ratings soared. He was very proud of what he achieved here, and he deserved to be. Um, but again, he wasn't arrogant about it. People would just come from everywhere just to have a chat to him, and they all called him Roscoe. He, he was actually theirs. Sydney's storyteller. But the story he remembers most... Where do you begin? Yeah. You know, where do you begin? A standout for me was the um, bushfires in Victoria. Black Saturday, 2009. Good evening. A career benchmark. So the fire actually passed over you. And... But just months later, he chose to call it a night. I'd like to thank you, our viewers, for your trust, for your loyalty and for all the support you've shown me and us over these past six years. I wish you all good luck and you good health. Cocoa? So I'm yeah. Ed Ross and for the final time, thanks for your company. Good night. You met him go now Because I like you much too much You have a way then, just four years into his retirement, the man who brought us good news and bad succumbed to the worst news possible, diagnosed with terminal pancreatic cancer. He refused chemotherapy, saying, 
I have decided that the only way to handle this friggin' nightmare is to remain as positive about it as I possibly can. He passed at 3.01 this morning. For a whole generation of broadcasters behind him, the bleakest day. Roscoe just took me under his wing and was always so generous and um, both on screen and off. He's just a true gentleman. There's a reason why he survived at one level. 38 years. It's because he was very good at what he did, but it was also because he was a very good bloke. His huge smile matched the size of his heart and the depth of his wisdom, and uh, we've lost a beautiful dear friend. The funeral will be Monday. A eulogy will come from 40-year friend Prue McSween. Uh, just the most glorious man, so dignified, so intelligent, so loyal. Rest in peace, Roscoe. I love you. He's survived by a former wife, three children and eight grandchildren. But his most important life love, Grey Balty. They were together 22 years. We have lost a much-loved partner, father and grandfather, he said, who won a legion of fans during his time in the media. I'm Ian Ross. Thanks for your company. Good night. For so many years he'd farewelled us, our sad turn now to farewell him. Chris Reason, 7 News. Tributes to Roscoe have been coming in all day, not just from colleagues, but also from viewers who saw him as a trusted friend. So many too from his family who honoured a partner, father and grandfather, saying Roscoe put up an incredibly brave fight during his illness. He remained strong and positive and displayed his wonderful sense of humour right to the end. Seven's chief executive, Tim Warner, said newsrooms bring out the best of characters and Roscoe was among the best of the best. Nine's David Gingell called him warm, generous, the ultimate professional. And so many others all paying tribute to his friendship, his professionalism, his wonderful sense of fun. And the sadness of the passing of a man who told us when he retired just four and a half years ago that he wanted to travel the world, play tennis and drink champagne. And he certainly did plenty of that. For me, he was a true friend, a wonderful mentor and a wonderful man. If you'd like to add your tributes, there's a link on the 7 News website. Sitting alongside me tonight is Chris Barth. Chris, you also worked with Roscoe for many years. You must also have some wonderful memories. Not nearly long enough. I'm really jealous of everyone at Channel 9 that got to work with him for 38 years. But it's, it's a mark of the man that no matter how much time you spent with Roscoe, he, he couldn't help but have a huge impact on you. He had a generosity of spirit, I know you mentioned that, Virgo, that just pervaded everything. You know, he came here and his joie de vie and his enthusiasm for life per pervaded the place. He was just fabulous to work with. He was so generous. He was such a mentor. What advice did he give you? Well, as you know, a lot of Roscoe's advice was a bit naughty and probably not really for broadcast. And that was part of his marvellous sense of humour. You know, I actually can't tell you the advice he gave me when I stepped into his shoes because probably not great to broadcast it at six o'clock at night. But he was hilarious and he had a level of hilarity that came with the job, as you can see here. Cracking gags, um, making fun of himself all the time. He was such a humble bloke, I think he'd be a little bit horrified about how many nice things we're saying about him today. And as you know, he, he wasn't those, one of those people that dispensed advice ad nauseum. If you ask for advice, he would always give it to you and be incredibly generous about it, but he never fancied himself the sort of expert that, that could just walk around willy-nilly giving you advice. But God, when he did, it was fantastic. It was worth listening to. Yeah. Well said, Chris. Thank you. To other news now, and Tony 